Hi, we're the Hanford Sisters, and I'm Grace Langford. And I'm Kay James. And I attended RCI from 1959 to 64 when I graduated. Can you believe it was that long ago? And I attended RCI from 1967 to 1972. There have been a lot of changes that have happened since then. Can you imagine starting to teach in the 20s and retiring in 1965? That was my Aunt Lillian. She was an astounding lady. But let's go on, Grace. Yeah, so I just wanted to talk about some of the highlights that I had uh, at RCI. And certainly sports was a big part of our lives, um, of my sister Kay and my brother Herb. Uh, so we won, uh, for me, the Eastern Ontario Basketball Championship, and that was a big deal, and it was under coach uh, Jack Grant. And another highlight that I remember certainly was the band. We, uh, we had a band in, uh, at RCI, and we did a band tour down in, in the Maritimes, and that was just a huge a growing experience, I think, for all of us. We, re we really had a good time, and we certainly learned how to tolerate each other, which was a, a, a good lesson for us. What about you, Kay? Yes, I would have to say sports was a big part of my time at, at RCI. And uh, Ruth Grant coached uh, my teams through everything in those years. Uh, one of the things that was kind of funny that happened was I became football queen in 1963. I'm not sure they even have that now, but it was quite an experience. And the only way I could really accept it was that it was um, someone that represented the spirit of RCI. And I continue to think of the students who go there as having that spirit. So another highlight of mine and has been um, from through high school and on in my life is music. And so I was very involved with um, the musical productions uh, at RCI and of course one of my Biggest highlights was that I was um, I was uh, chosen for the female lead in Carousel, and that was uh, just a great experience for me. And I learned so much from Olive Phillips, who was my vo uh, vocal coach, and Bob Amron was our um, our director. And it was uh, just an amazing experience for me. I, I am just so happy that I was able to go through that. Yeah. The things that we did in high school really prepared us for moving on. It was sort of how we learn to get along and um, we became individuals. Uh, but one of the funniest things that I can remember is how the teachers controlled with their um, discipline. One of them was Les Anderson. He could fire a piece of chalk at anybody who was <laughs> out of line. Um, Miss Johnson, she was very uh, instrumental in English and Latin in my time. And she could come out with words I've never heard before. <laughs> and one of them was, you twit. It's a good uh, word for Scrabble, I, I would say. And the other one was, I, I mentioned my Aunt Lillian Hanford. Um, she really enjoyed students and the other staff. And one time she had a particularly de delinquent um, pupil and she sent him down to the woodworking shop where Tom Egan uh, was the teacher. And she had asked that student to please bring back a left-handed hammer. <laughs> so he was out of the class for quite some time, which made everything just fine. <laughs> So I think in closing, we just want to say congratulations, RCI, on your 140 years. That is just amazing. I would also like to add that the, um, the uh, um, what do you call it? Mm. <sighs> Sign of the times. But it's hike olam memedisi uabet. It means sometime these days will delight you. Ah. And they really are good. Yeah. 